Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about shaded pole induction motor. Shaded pole induction motor, let's see here, like this. This is the main winding and this is my rotor. And generally, these are the, the shaded rings or shaded bars or copper bars. The shaded rings are copper bars. These are the two copper bars we are using here. Generally, this is also a single phase induction motor. This is also a single phase induction motor. Generally, single phase induction motors are not a self-starting motors, right? How we can start the single phase induction motors by using axillary winding, right? Here, the shaded rings are acts as the axillary windings. By using this axillary winding, we can start this motor. How we can start the motor? Actually, when I am giving single phase AC supply to the main winding, then it produces flux. And due to mutual induction, Due to mutual induction, the flux will produce us in the shaded rings. Due to mutual induction, the flux will produce us in the shaded rings. For example, for example, I am giving the single phase AC supply like this. I am giving single phase AC supply like this. For example, this is O, A, B, and C. From O to A, the change in flux is maximum. There is a lot of change in flux. There is a lot of change in flux. That's why due to mutual induction, the flux will produce us in the shaded rings. According to Lenz law, the induced flux will oppose the main field flux. According to Lenz law, the induced flux will oppose the main field flux. So what happened? Here, the resultant flux is zero because the induced flux is opposes the main field flux. That's why the total flux is concentrated at unshaded part of the main pole. The total flux is concentrated at unshaded part of the main pole. Whereas from A to B, from A to B, the rate of change of flux is very less or simply zero. There is no rate of change of flux. If there is no rate of change of flux, there is no mutual induction, there is no EMF induced. If there is no EMF induced, there is no EMF in the shaded rings. Then what happened? There is no effect of shaded rings. Then what happened? The total flux is concentrated at the middle of the main pole. The total flux is concentrated at the middle of the main pole. Right, sir? Next one, from B to C, the flux is reducing in nature. Nothing but we have a rate of change of flux. If rate of change of flux is there, the flux induced in the shaded rings. But here, it will add the main field flux because this is in negative direction, right? But generally, we know E is equal to minus N into D5 by DT, right? Due to minus opposite direction, right? which is in this is the main field flux is in reducing direction. Our induced flux is in addition. So the total flux is concentrated at the, the shaded part of the main pole. So first the total flux is concentrated at unshaded part. Second, the total flux is concentrated at middle of the main pole. And third, the total flux concentrated at shaded part. Nothing but the flux is flows from unshaded part to the unshaded part to the shaded part, unshaded part to the shaded part. Nothing but the rotor also rotates in the same direction. The rotor also rotates from unshaded part to the shaded part because the rotor feels the flow of fluxes as a physical movement of poles. When flux is moving like this, our rotor feels that the physical movement of main poles. 
due to physical moment of main poles, the rotor also rotates in the same direction. That's why the rotor also rotates from unshaded part to the shaded part. This can be simply in one statement we can define as when single phase AC supply given to the main winding, due to mutual induction, the flux will produce in the shaded rings. And due to lens law, due to lens law, the flux flows from unshaded part to the shaded part of the main poles. This moment of flux is assumed by the rotor as a physical moment of poles. Due to physical moment of poles, the rotor also rotates in the same direction. That's why here the rotor rotates from unshaded part to the shaded part of the main pole. Unshaded part to the shaded part of the main pole. Right, sir. Now, they will ask you a question. How we can reverse the rotor rotation? How we can reverse the rotor rotation? By changing the copper bar's position. By changing the copper bar's position, we can change the rotor direction. Is the first question. Second question. Second question. To get the bidirectional rotation, to get the bidirectional rotation, how many shaded rings we required? To get the bidirectional rotation, we required four copper rings. Yes or no? Right, second question. This is about simply the shaded pole induction motor. Now they will ask you the question, what are the applications of shaded pole induction motor? What are the applications of shaded pole induction motor? Now let's tell me, what are the applications? The applications of shaded pole induction motor, low torque, low torque, low speed, low torque, low speed, low power applications, low power nothing but 3 to 125 watts. Low torque, low speed, low power applications, 3 to 125 watts. Can you tell me examples? What are the applications of shaded pole induction motor? Yeah, applications are electrical hair dryers. Electrical hair dryers. Electrical hair dryers. And also used in small electrical toys. Electrical toys, children's playing, right? Toys, electrical toys. Electrical toys, electrical hair dryers. And indicators, indicators, indicating boards are simply indicating boards or indicators. These are the, the best applications of shaded pole induction motor. Electric hair dryers, electric toys, indicating boards etc. These are the applications of shaded pole induction motor, generally used for low speed, low torque, low power applications and the rotor rotates from unshaded part to the shaded part of the main pole. The flux flows from unshaded part to the shaded part of the main pole due to mutual induction. These are the applications. This is about the shaded pole induction motor. Are you okay? Okay, so these are the applications, very important, regularly asking questions.